hi welcome back to rebecca's travel so if you're watching my lifestyle channel welcome back to rebecca's lifestyle um hi um how are you um i hope uh, you're all having um a really good uh, shrove uh, tuesday um i had some american pancakes and um i made i put some banana um uh, with it and um also some lime juice with it as well and um heated it up in the microwave and it was absolutely lovely I really enjoyed it I made one for my mum as well and she really enjoyed it um and today um I'm going to be doing Travel News UK 5 Exciting Facts at March 2022 Part 1. Now, just before we jump right into it, if you could please subscribe. Um, it's a red and white subscription button. Don't forget to click the notification bell so you never miss um, a upload. I upload five times a week on both my travel and my lifestyle channel. And I love talking about travel and lifestyle. Um, so I'm going to uh, jump in uh, to um, the five exciting facts. Um, First of all, um, uh, bad news, unfortunately, at bbc.co.uk slash news, uh, number one, UK citizens um, have been advised against travelling to Russia due to the lack of flights available and economic uh, problems in the country. So again, it's not advisable to go to Russia at the moment. um number two and um, some uh, good news at uh, manchester evening news at uh, dr co dot uk um says it uh, change uk travel rules or the change in uk travel will uh, rules could see passenger location forms scrapped by easter so yes that's some uh, really good news um number three at falmouthpacket.co.uk ridiculously complicated covid travel rule uh, to be simplified which is really good news um and I hope it is. Um, complicated COVID uh, travel rule set to be changed ahead of Easter holidays. So that's really good news for um, families and people. And um, at COVID, uh, COVID travel rules are set to uh, become a lot simpler as complicated passenger location forms are expected to be axed uh, by the beginning of April. So again, excellent news. Number four, the independent.co.uk. Um, this is not good news. Uh, London tube strikes live, most underground line um suspended as walkout um disrupt travel across the capital um underground staff are striking on um one uh, the first and the third of march um the entire tube next work is currently disrupted as london underground staff stage and um, the first of two 24 hour strikes uh, set for this week on tuesday and thursday respectively uh, the rmt union has blamed the dispute on the financial uh, crisis at um london underground limited um which 
General Secretary Mick Lynch are described as being deliberately um, engineered by the government. Um, again, it's really not good news. So if you're look, looking to travel um, on the tube, then um, you're going to have to find um, other transport networks like um, to get to the place where you need to get to um um it means either going by car um either train or bus um and uh, cabs are really uh, extremely expensive in london so again if there is um another way of doing it either cycling or um walking um to get to where you need to get to um uh, then obviously you're going to have to do that um because obviously um the london underground's not working so i would like to say uh thank you oh and um the fifth and final fact, <laughs> um, I was getting ahead of myself there. <laughs> um, the fifth and final fact um, is really good news. Uh, business Travel News, Europe.com, UK Service Department, come back. Um, um, going momentum. Uh, the latest report by a state agent's uh, Savalis and Association of Service Department Providers, um, ASAP, uh, found that 58% had seen occupancy recover to 2019, um, which is um, before the pandemic level, uh, level COVID pandemic level, while 80% of respondents expected um, it to get back to pre-pandemic occupancies uh, by the end of the year. So really good news there. Um, so service departments are continually um, on their quick recovery in the UK with uh, more than half of operators saying they are already back to pre-COVID occupancy levels. Yay! I'm really pleased um, because obviously it's a win-win um, for obviously estate st agents and um, obviously um, people that want a holiday in um, apartments and um, also um, the operators that are operating the um, apartments so really good news there I would like to say thank you um, for watching and um, I hope you have a nice day and night wherever you are in the world um, and Thank you for watching and I'll see you to tomorrow and thank you and bye for now. Thank you. Bye.